Unbelievable. He smokes the wow. world record holder. Wow. That was an incredible performance from Novikov. Wow. How many more can Novikov grind out like that? That was brutal. He's such an athlete, isn't he? So explosive. You can't stop him, look, he's still doing weights. And how can we do this at the Royal Albert Hall without the reigning world's strongest man? It's Novikov looking to add to his crown here tonight. His most regal of venues. And of course, the top three tonight win a golden ticket to world's strongest man. Over to Colin and Danny. Thanks, James. Yes, 120 years since there was a strongman competition here at the Royal Albert Hall. It was called the Great Competition. Titles were easier in those days. In red, then, are the men who won't progress in this event. Tom Stoltman managed 190. Who will join him as we move forward? Novikov next to take on this huge weight. Yeah, there's just two men left now. Novikov and Iron Bibby to follow. And Bibby, he made light work of 170. Novikov, what can he do here at round two? Shaking away. Well, there it is. Always with those bursts of power. Not a giant to look at, Colin. Well, not at all. He's such an athlete, isn't he? So explosive. I really thought he was going to fail that when it was shaking away on his chest, but not a bit of it. I'd like you to welcome so, we join the action with Adam Bishop. He will be going head to head against Novikov, also a great deadlifter. Actually set a new 18-inch deadlift for Max world record in 2020. Now they're just strapping on here. Really thick bar makes it very hard to grip. So uh, these straps allow them just to relax and pull it all the better. And Bishop wasting no time at all. Three reps to beat. Surely he's going to blow past that. Well, he is one of the most, if not the most, technically gifted deadlifters on the planet. Already up to four reps. Look how narrow his feet are. It's a perfect position to pull from Novikov. A little wide, a little inefficient here. But we've seen him pull some big deadlifts, Danny. Never count him out. Well, look at this. Up to seven. Remember, the world record is eight, thanks to Martins Lissis. Bishop. He's knocking on the door of that with 20 seconds to go. How many more can Novikov grind out like that? That was brutal. Well, I spoke way too soon. Adam Bishop's had enough, but he's done enough. Seven reps for Bishop. Novikov also beaten. Managed six. In the lead with the axle deadlift. Bishop with Novikov in second. To the reigning champ, the reigning world's strongest man, Novikov. Taking on Britain's Adam Bishop, the current world record holder in this event. A little battle of giants. And Novikov always with that incredible speed, everything he does. Unbelievable, he smokes the wow. world record holder. Wow. That was an incredible performance from Novikov. Wow. 8.74. A little steam train, that's what he was there. <laughs> Unbelievable. And Bishop was really just beaten at the start, I think. 9.46, he can't complain about that. That's even quicker than Singleton. Well, Novikov always leaps into action so quickly. And just ploughed ahead with that one. Very upright. Almost up into a sprinter's position. That was extraordinary. A massive win for Novikov there, just outside of the world record as he blitzed the Bish to take first place. Luke Stoltman an excellent third, with Bibi placing top five too. Which means that with one event to go, Bibi is still on course for the title here in London. But Novikov is now just two points behind, and Singleton's in striking range too. The sport keeps getting better and better, and now Singleton. That was a WWE moment, wasn't it? <laughs> for sure. Just needed him to whack him over the head with a plastic chair. And Singleton getting hyped up. Novikov. He's having none of it. As <laughs> icy cold as ever. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go then. Much shorter man, Novikov. And his first couple will be that little bit harder for him, but my goodness, he's explosive. 
this is a fast start from both men, and really the title is up for grabs with Bibby injured. Nice comeback from T-Rex there, he's in the lead for sure, and this could grab him the title right here, if he gets it up, Novikov catching! Oh! Wow, what a finish! Both men making their way as quickly as possible to Magnus van Magnussen to see who was first. But that, of course, was the moment. Singleton took his hands off, Novikov just behind. And Singleton takes second place with 20.22 just behind him was Novikov. He managed all five in 20.53. Goodness, that was so tight. Went back and forth between these two men, but in the end, it's Singleton who gets it, the rubber ring sticking to his finger. But neither man beating big Tom Stoltman. No, what a time from Stoltman, 16.97 seconds, just off his own world record. And that battle at the end between Singleton and Novikov, giving them second and third in that event, which means the final standings, well, Novikov just edging forward and taking first place. Singleton behind him, and Ian Bibby, after such a great start, takes third. But it's all about Novikov. And there he is, the reigning world's strongest man takes the Strongman Classic. And you can't stop him, look, he's still doing weights. <laughs> Alexi, what an amazing performance tonight. How do you feel to be the winner? Thank you very much, I'm really happy. It's first uh, win in Giant Life, so, and I have qualifi qualification in uh, World's Strongest Man. So, <laughs> I'm really happy. I, I know the crowd would have absolutely loved you being here. I've really enjoyed watching you compete. I think you've been absolutely fantastic all night. Congratulations on a huge win. Thank you very much.